Hello, so it's me, Samaya, and I'm doing a speed painting called Window to My Dreams. This is my second speed painting on this channel, and I'm actually doing a voiceover for it because, I mean, why not? So, before anyone asks, the name came from the fact that it's an eye, which means, you know, the window to your soul, and that, uh, I always have dreams where there's something, there's a lot of green and blue, like my fairy tale dreams, I guess. And uh, there's a lot of green and blue, and also ponds or trees. So this is kind of a window to my dreams. Um, anyways, I used watercolors, acrylic, just a little bit of white acrylic. I used a lot of Prismacolor color pencils and pen. All the materials will be at the end of the uh, the sh video. And go ahead and like this, you know, because why not? Uh, this was kind of hard to make. Like, you'd think a speed painting is the easiest thing to make. It's not. I think the easiest out of all the videos I've made is probably the, the college story time because I just sat in front of the camera. But, you know, I'm getting used to, like, editing and making, I guess. It's it's very difficult, especially because my camera is really old. <laughs> um, it's, it's quite old, but, you know, I made it work because it's a great camera nonetheless. So, I kind of got sidetracked with the whole camera and, um things that have nothing to do with this painting. So back on this painting. Uh, it was really hard. The eyebrows especially was really hard. Um, the only difficult part of this really was because one, it's been a very long time since I've drawn or painted very large eyes. Usually I do small eyes or I put them in an actual portrait. Um, secondly, it's like putting a pond in an iris and still making it look like an iris like look like a real eye it's it's ridiculous but i mean i like the way it turned out like i do it looks really good with my other pond paintings and it kind of makes this whole relaxing gallery vibe because it's just a bunch of pond paintings that i have now uh i might frame this and you know, put it on my website. So look out for that. If I decide to do that, I might make prints of it or put it on my Redbubble as well. Um, also, sorry that my brushes are all dirty, but I leave them in water, which you shouldn't do. Like, that's just a bad idea. But I leave, them, I leave mine in water because I get kind of lazy. Uh... Making the shadows on the eyeballs was kind of hard. Like, I don't know, it's just cause it's like white and making shadows and highlights on white is just, it's kind of hard. But overall, this was a very relaxing painting. Um, overall, <laughs> there were some difficult parts, but I kind of went into this like, you know what, let me just, let me just paint something because I've been very uninspired lately, and that's why I didn't start my YouTube channel off with, you know, painting videos like you guys probably expected since I'm an artist, because I've just not really felt like painting, and I'm sure a lot of artists who are watching this can feel the same way at some point where you just have no inspiration like you'll save photos to your collection like oh my gosh I'm gonna paint this one day or that looks great to paint but you never get to it because you're just so not inspired or motivated to paint or pick up a paintbrush so uh, today I just decided I'm gonna pick up a paintbrush whatever paper I have on hand I'm just gonna use it and um, I decided to go with an eye because that was something that I felt was simple enough but I could also make it uh, you know I guess I can personalize it and I was thinking you know let me make the iris personalized because 
Why not? <laughs> So right now I'm going in with my white gel pen, which I mean, I just realized I forgot to put this in the in supply list, but I use the white gel pen as well. And I'm kind of putting in highlights and such. Um, I kind of messed up with the Prismacolors. Part of me wishes I never used the color pencils, but part of me feels like this painting would not work without the color pencils. I just need to learn how to use them better I guess I'm not I don't often use color pencils so you know I I need to learn more I need to improve my color pencil skills because they're kind of below average uh, that's why I only use them with watercolors and even when I do that it's like I feel like I just want to kind of delete or like undo when I use them but I have a few uh, Portraits like Aquila, Sora, Nyella, um, Zelina, those all have watercolors and Prismacolors, color pencils. Actually, and Aurora. Anyway, so we're getting towards the end of this. So I guess, like, I'll start saying goodbye. Make sure to subscribe and comment and like and comment what you liked about it because I like to know. So, goodbye guys! Thank you.